Hi, my name is John. I'm uh, the marketing director here at Borrow for Hearing and today I'm just going to show you guys how to change a battery. So first, I um, just wanted to give you guys a few tips here. Um, what we're dealing with is what's called zinc air batteries and with the zinc air batteries, what happens is they're in these little packages and they're separated and you see that there's always a little tab that's on them. The reason why there's a tab on them is because uh, whenever you open it up, um, it'll activate the, the battery. They work a little different than the AAAs that you usually have at home. As soon as you pull this, this tab off, the battery will kind of start drain, will start draining. So um, in order to start this, um, I have um, a set of our uh, new Phonak uh, B90s uh, here. So uh, first we'll do it, first what we'll do is we'll take the battery out. So, as you can see here with the, the Rick hearing aids, what we're going to do is we're just going to pull on this little tab here at the bottom. And when you pull on it, the door is going to open. A lot of times what we find is our patients might try to get the battery out with the door not completely opened and sometimes you might end up breaking the door. So we always advise that you pull the door all the way back until it can't go any further out. Okay. And then from there, you know, what you can do is you can just flip it over and it'll come out. Or what we recommend some of our patients to do is grab one of these magnets. And if you don't have the magnet, you can just drop by any of our four locations and you can ask them to give you one of these sets. So what you do is the magnet's just right on the end of that tip there. What you're gonna wanna do is just go reach over, just touch the top of it and bam, like magic, it's up. All right, so uh, now what we wanna do is we wanna put the new battery in. Uh, another tip with these batteries too is we always like to try to keep it in these cases because we want to make sure that they are separated from each other. Not only when we take off the top does it uh, lose its battery, but sometimes when it touches other batteries you might find that it kind of begins to lose some of the power that's in it as well too. So um, always try to keep it inside um, a case here. So now with this uh, there's two ways. Some patients they like to just go and pop that right in like that and just pull the tab off. But what I'm gonna show you today is I'm just gonna take the tab off first, okay? And um, one of the things we like to say too is we like to say um, it's good to leave it out a little bit. Like a good wine, we wanna let it breathe a little bit. And the reason why we do that is because um, it, the way that the batteries work is it once it um, touches air, that's how it actually um, gets activated and how it starts. So again, like a good wine, let's let it breathe for a little bit. So I think that's good. So again, what I'll do is I'll take the, the magnet that we used from before to pull it out. I'm gonna just touch it on the top there. All right. And then I'm just gonna slide in again with the door all the way open. I'm just gonna put that in there. And then if you just kind of pull right across, it's just really easy to get that in there, okay? And then the last thing for you to do is just close this door shut. Just like that, just close this door all the way shut and then pop that into your ear, okay? And when you pop it into your ear, what you're gonna find is you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear it go ding, 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 ding. And what that means is that it's on and it's ready to go, all right? And that's how you change your battery. Um, but the other thing to note is um, when, do you, when do you change your battery? So what you're gonna hear is you're gonna hear a dong, 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 dong sound um, kind of four hours before the battery runs out. So that means that you could probably got a good half a day's use before it completely runs out. So, you know, don't feel like you have to rush and find somewhere to immediately go and change it. You still got about four hours before the battery runs out. Again, that sound is ding, 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 something like that. But uh, hey, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to give any of our, uh, give any of our locations a call. Um, I work out of the Mission location. The telephone number there is 403-457-4327. And again, uh, any of the staff will be happy to give you a hand. Again, my name is John. Uh, thanks for watching my video.